Hello ladies and gentlemen, and today we're going to do a update on the Veltrox RP08 LED video lights. But first, I'm your host, the Panda Photographer, and on this channel we teach photography, videography, and tutorial tips, tech related tips, and much more. But if you guys want to support the channel financially, and support the channel by being part of this community, there is a uh, subscribe button, there is a share button there's comments and there are affiliate links and if you want to financially support the channel to keep the lights on here there's a paypal donation link but with that said it's been six months let's talk about the veltrox rb08 led video lights so small so compact so pockable it can fit in your back pocket front pocket jacket pocket any pocket doesn't matter it fits in your pocket it's not as thin as a phone but it is as small as a phone but still pockable, very light too. The weight, phenomenal. Now I get it, built quality, it's not top notch. It's not made out of any magnesium or copper heat sink, but it works. Uh, testing in the last six months, I had no issues with batteries. Battery life particularly depends on how you use it based on the power output that you push out. Now at 50%, I tried this, a number of times I went to the test multiple times and it turns out that I can get about almost close to two hours on 50% but with a hundred percent I could get close to an hour of uh, LED time so depends on the situation depends on the lighting situation or the filming environment or photo environment if you want to use these for photos you can I use it for micro photography but with that said I also use this as my mobile LED light for my mobile phone and gimbal you guys are probably saying how did you do that well I'll show you in a second but first make sure that you do subscribe and share and please let me know what you guys think so far so here is my Zion smooth Q mobile gimbal for my smartphone I have the iPhone X here before that, I had the iPhone 6S. Now, no issues with the motors and anything like that because I have put multiple weights, parts. You guys have seen past videos of this product. You see me modified it. It was outstanding video. Now I'm showing you how to mount one of the Veltrox RB08 LEDs onto a gimbal. Now, depends on the gimbal design and how the motors work, but it is simple what i did was brought velcro tape not just any velcro tape velcro tape that can support up to 16 pounds of weight which means by force let's say we walk in down the street and we, we do have this on a gimbal it would always stay attached because the velcro is strong so i also put velcro on top of the gimbal here so here's my iphone x here's my zion uh, Zion Smooth Q. Now I did calibrate the arms, extend them all the way out a little bit until it gets this far as it tilts. And the next thing I did was if I want to use either face, the front or back uh, camera, I can have that option. But let's say we want to use the back uh, camera. What I do is face it towards the back, which is the diffuse part. I place it on top. And what I do next is because it's going to tip over, so you got to hold it and be careful. Okay. Now you know that you have it aligned because look, look, look what it's doing right now. Perfect, right? The next step is hold it up like so. Turn on the power. When you feel the motors kick in, just let go and ta da, voila. Easy. Now, the only problem that I'm having with this setup is that since it's an iPhone X and Apple was stupid enough not to support 3.5 jack and we have to use dongles, there's no way we have a dongle adapter to plug in even a lightning port or a 3.5 cable to hook up microphones. So, Sorry everyone to interrupt your Veltrox update, but I have some updates on my own that I want to share with this video so it gives so give you guys some more insight about how you can adapt parts so uh let's talk about the veltrox first the veltrox here as you can see i modified it for now that i cut out a sheet from an old softbox and put it in the inside 
This is temporary. Just want to see how this will look and how much it would diffuse. So as I put it on the LED light, it is much softer by the way. So this may be a good idea if you want to think about making a DIY project for the Veltrox. So with that said, I'm looking online for an adapter for the iPhone. Small, but it should work. And I'm trying my best to look for one. I also found this. I was looking online for a adapter to the iPhone X. Since the iPhone X doesn't have that 3.5 jet, as I said, I was looking for something more like this or something more of a lightning port to 3.5 cable. So I went with this. I will leave the links to this particular item for your iPhones down in the description below so you guys can go purchase it yourself. So what I'm gonna do with this device is, this is gonna give me the flexibility to use with my gimbal. This is gonna go into the, the groove or the harness that goes that's inside the gimbal. I can also hook up a lightning cable to charge the phone, as you can see here. You can charge or you can listen. So charge and listen to headphones. That means I can adapt this particular dongle adapter to this when I wanna use like shotgun microphones on gimbals and I can convert it into a 3.5 jack. So yeah. But other than that, this works pretty well. Uh, I do recommend it. Uh, the LED lights are very fantastic. Uh, now, when it comes down to pushing uh, power output, it depends uh, on the situation. I would say if you're three feet away, you shouldn't be using it at 50%. You should use it at about 45, 35%. Depends on the lighting condition in your environment while filming or doing photography. But I do have one slight con, which is the diffusing panel here. I feel like it's not diffused enough because my skin, when I look at my footage, it just looks glycerin. I kind of want it soft and natural, not too sharp or, you know, the highlight part, it just bothers me. But I'm making a diffusing part from my old softbox, a diffuse sheet. I'm gonna cut out the shape of this. But I also wanted to share that it was easy enough to find compatible gels. For, for the LED light. So this here are the Celine gels. I'm gonna show you again what they look like. I did a video about this before, so keep that in mind. Here's the gel, here is the LED light. So what I do is put it, or I slide it right in the, right between the gap and it fits perfectly. Let me fix this a little bit. There we go. It slides right in. Boom. Now I got a blue LED. So that is an option. That is options for you guys. But uh, I do not recommend diffusing blue LEDs or LED lights. Uh, try to get the, the, the diffusion uh, uh, color gels that are actually diffused because I think they work better than most so uh, but yeah that's this is my update on the Veltrox RB08 LED video lights I think they work fantastically I never had problems I even did a contest a, a couple of people won they they enjoyed the LED light they thought it was great they thought it was fantastic so let's just say for the great take this with a grain of salt ladies and gentlemen that you do get a product from Veltrox that is DOA. Send it back, get a new one, and I guarantee you, you guys will have an amazing time with the LED. So with that said, everyone, thank you for watching and taking the time out today about the Veltrox RB08. So with that said, everyone, thank you for watching. Eat, sleep, photography, videography, and repeat. And I will see you guys in the next video. You guys take care of yourselves and be safe out there. Happy shooting.